Hey guys, it's Avery from Video Blend, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to clean up your computer's hard drive. Now this tutorial is based around Windows, so if you have a Mac, there are many other great tools you can use. But I'm going to be going through three basic tools. Uh, the first one is very simple, second one's a little more advanced, and the third one is really more for the power user who stores a lot of programs and files on their computer. But either way, no matter which one of these you choose, whether you do one or all three, they will definitely help free up some extra space on your hard drive. So the first one we're going to be going with is actually built right into Windows 10 in pretty much any version of Windows since Windows XP and it's called a disk cleanup. You can go right to your start menu and type in disk cleanup and it'll be the first result that pops up. So if you click on it, it'll open up and it will ask you what drive you want to clean up. I'm going to clean up my C drive because that's where my operating system is installed. So we just press OK. It's going to collect some information about your hard drive. And once it finishes that, it's going to pop up with a window looking like this. Now, this is going to give you a brief overview of how much space certain types of files and folders are taking up on your computer. So we can scroll through this list and see what we want to erase from the computer's hard drive. Stuff like downloaded program files, temporary internet files, stuff like that, even any of these here which are just Windows error reports, um, we, can, we can remove those as well because those aren't going to matter for the future. Um, pretty much any of these you're, you're all set to um, remove. Some of them might mess up some of your updates if you have updates running so I wouldn't be updating your computer at the same time but especially stuff like temporary files that's where you'll find a lot of data now I've done this recently so I'm not going to be getting as many files as you guys might be especially if you haven't done this before but you'll, you'll still see it's added up to 180 megabytes so far so I'm gonna go ahead and press OK press delete files and in a few seconds should go through and delete all the files that I selected. Now the next tool that I'm going to be talking about is a tool called CCleaner. It's one of the best recommended tools for cleaning up your computer on Windows. So this is the website here where you can download it. Um, it's peerreform.com slash CCleaner or you can just look up CCleaner and it will be the first link on Google. Now I'm just going to press download free version, free download, and then you want to make sure you stick with free, professional, and Professional Plus are better for like businesses and stuff like that, but they will give you more options for uh, more real-time monitoring and things like that, which could help out some people. Now you just want to make sure you download the free version and then just save it on your computer and it's a very quick install. So I already have CCleaner open, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here's CCleaner. Uh, I'm going to maximize it to make it a little bit easier to understand. On the left side, the cleaner tab is the one that you want to go to most of the time. And this is going to have a full list of all of the certain areas on your computer where it will search for files to help clean up and remove to free up space. It'll have both Windows built-in uh, sections of the computer as well as sections created by some of your commonly used applications, such as other internet browsers like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. So starting on Windows, I would leave just everything that it has checked off by default. I wouldn't go ahead and check anything else, uh, especially stuff like network passwords, which can you know obviously remove passwords, which isn't very helpful. So I would head over right to the Applications tab and see what you have here. If there are any internet browsers in here which you aren't using, I would select all of the checkboxes on them. Um, for example, on Microsoft Edge, I am not using any of I'm not using this browser, so I'm just going to delete everything. But I would leave it on default for any browsers that you commonly use, like Google Chrome or Firefox. Windows Store and just applications, stuff like that, those are usually pretty much if you check off anything that's already on here on this list, as long as you're not too worried about specific applications, that will do just fine. So now we can either press Analyze or Run Cleaner. Analyze will tell us how many files it's going to delete. Run Cleaner will do that and also delete the files at the same time. Run Cleaner is usually the better option. This process will permanently delete files from your system. Are you sure you want to proceed? 
press OK. So then we'll just let this run through. It might not find a lot of files. It will also ask you if you would like to close certain programs that you have open so that I can fully uh, go through and remove those files. I'm not going to do that right now because some of the programs I have open are important, like Google Chrome and stuff like that. So I'm just going to press no on those. Generally, I would recommend pressing yes. It will end up with a full report once it's done of all the files it removed and which applications they're from, as well as a full total data removal. So this one is 540 megabytes. Now the final program is a little bit more advanced, like I said in the beginning of this video, but it's called Winderstat or Winderstat, however you want to pronounce it. It stands for Windows Directory Statistics. But what it is really good at helping is finding large files that you can remove from your computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the downloads page on the side. It's winderstat.net. Um, I'll put all these links in the description of the video. Um, so just go to the downloads and we want to make sure that we download it from FossHub, which is where they're currently hosting it. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to press download winderstat windows installer. Now this will download the most recent version. I'm actually going to install it because I'm not sure if my version is up to date. So you'll see this is exactly what you will get. We'll press accept, next, next, install. And it will install very quickly because it's a very small program. Now we're just going to let it run at the end. And this is Winderstat. So it works just like the Windows disk cleanup program where it asks what drive you would like to, to scan. So I'm going to scan my C drive press OK and you'll see little like Pac-Man uh, animations going across showing you as it is uh, scanning each drive so we're just gonna let this hit 100 percent so once it's finished scanning you're gonna see something that looks like this it might look a little creepy a little confusing but it's pretty easy to understand once we go through the different sections of the screen so the top is what you saw before uh, the top left on here and it's basically a little file browser, just like your Windows Explorer, just how you would regularly browse through your files, downloads, documents, stuff like that. And with this, it shows you a little more information as far as like how many items, what the actual full size of it is, your last edited change to that folder, and also a little visual demonstration or representation of how much of your hard drive it is taking up just that specific folder. You can use the plus buttons on any of these, just like a regular file browser, to open up the tabs and see folders that are inside your folders and files as well. And on the bottom here, which might look a little more confusing, this is a visual representation of all the files that you have on your hard drive. It only shows files, not folders. So the cool thing about this, you might be wondering why this is useful, it'll show you really if you have any big files that are taking up space. And all the colors on here are represented, um, or the representations of certain types of files. So if you look in the, the tab here on the right, you'll see all of the different, um, it's sort of like a color key. So gray are usually a lot smaller files, um, like temporary files and stuff like that. Blue are, um, or red are applications, like programs that you have on your computer, stuff like that. So what's cool about this is you can click on any of these little um, little rectangles here and see what files they represent. So if I click on one of these red ones, you'll see it'll highlight it over here. So this is, um, it looks like one of the recent uh, graphics driver downloads that I had to download for my graphics card. If we click on one of these light blue ones, um, this looks like a Windows download uh, file for probably a recent update or something like that. And then if we click on this teal one here, um, this was part, uh, it was actually uh, a modification for Euro Truck Simulator, one of the games that I play. So it's really nice seeing what's taking up files on your computer. Let's say I didn't use this mod anymore. This mod is 953 megabytes. From here I can instantly right click and then delete this. Um, so it's a great way to find specific files that you maybe forgot about on your computer and clean them up with uh, not too much searching through your hard drive. So hopefully these three programs that I showed you today helped you clean up some space on your computer, 
or at least introduce you to something new that will help you manage your files and uh, applications in the future. There are all programs that I use at least once a week just to go through and make sure I don't have lots of temporary files. CCleaner is also great at uninstalling programs from your computer and removing f other files that the Windows uninstaller wouldn't uninstall. But these programs really depend on your level of expertise with the Windows operating system. If you're a very basic user, I would just stick with something like either CCleaner or the Windows Disk Cleanup. Um, but if you're someone who has lots of files stored on their computer like photos and videos and maybe isn't great at organizing them or just wants to see how much space they're taking up on their computer, Winderstat is a great program and even though it doesn't have the nicest interface on it, it really helps you get a good visual representation of what is taking up space on your computer. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a like and subscribe and you'll be notified of all my future uploads on this channel. If you have any questions about any of the three programs I showed today, or would like to give a recommendation for a future video, leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a great day.